Listen, I'm trying to make my video. All of you people need to be quiet. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Fab Friday, so time for another Fashion Files, five of my favorite looks. You can check out videos that I've done like this before on my playlist that is hashtag Fashion Files. Please remember to subscribe. I love fashion. I think I've pretty much loved fashion all my life. When I was a little girl, my mom had a dress boutique and she imported dresses from London. And I just remember after school, I would go to her dress shop and I would kind of help her set up the dresses and see what she had imported, what were the recent uh, designs that she had scouted at Fashion Week. And so that was kind of, I think, the beginning of my passion for fashion. It was a little bit put on hold because I was an athlete and it wasn't my top priority. But when I went to college, I went to college in New York City at Columbia University and my passion for fashion re-emerged in one of the fashion capitals of the world. Eventually, I would go on to sign a modeling contract with Wilhelmina. I ended up doing a little bit of runway, a little bit of print, a couple of even kind of commercial things related to high fashion, but also sports modeling. I just love, I love getting dressed up. Since I was a professor at a university, it just really didn't reconcile. But fortunately for me, my husband works in Beverly Hills as a real estate broker, and he has nothing but glamorous events that pull out all of my fashion inclinations. So I will be posting these Fashion Files videos on the last Friday of every month. Sometimes it'll be five of my favorite looks. Sometimes it will be get ready with me videos. Just anything that has to do with fashion in my life, I'll be posting it on Fridays, but you can also find it under my playlist, hashtag fashion files. So let's jump right into my five favorite looks. The first look is one that I wore to an event for Equal Playing Field. It was actually the movie premiere of a film that's called Equal Playing Field that's about a group of women from around the world who came together to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and set the Guinness World Record for playing a soccer game at the highest altitude. It's an absolutely amazing story, an amazing experience by these women, and just a beautiful act of social justice and women's empowerment and female solidarity. One of the soccer players that attended is actually a good friend of mine. Her name is Jasmine Henderson. Jasmine recently wrote a book about her experience called She Will Rise, and I was really blessed to be able to write a foreword for that book. Her forthcoming book has already been endorsed by some really amazing athletes, and I encourage you to check it out. But the outfit that I wore that day is one of my favorites because I don't usually wear pants on red carpet or to events like this. I usually wear dresses or skirts. So this is kind of a different look for me, but one that I really love. Breaking this down, I just have to tell you, I actually got these faux leather pants at Target. I got them actually completely randomly one day. I was going somewhere and I just needed a different pair of pants and I stopped into a Target and I found these pants and I actually love them. I have loved them ever since where I would not have been shopping for faux leather pants at Target necessarily, but who knew? I love them, I wear them very often. I also had on a sheer black long sleeve netted shirt that I got at a boutique on Abbott Kinney. Abbott Kinney is a really cool little hip shopping area in West LA. But the statement piece for this outfit is the sleeveless tuxedo blazer that I got from Michael Kors. It's great because it has a leather lapel that just really set off the black leather pants. And then I had my hair in this really sleek high ponytail, which is not a way I often wear my hair, but I absolutely loved it. I almost hated it because it started to rain. It's so rare that it rains in LA, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I've sleeked my hair down as sleek as it could possibly be, and now it's trying to be frizzed out by the rain. But I survived it, and I just thought it was such a great look and such a memorable night, and I was there to support my friend. I loved the way that she had styled herself. It was beautiful, and I thought I was a great accent to her styling as well. Look number two also was a faux leather look, but in a different direction. My husband does luxury real estate in Beverly Hills, and a lot of his clients are athletes and entertainers. So he does a lot of great brand partnerships and collaborations with some of the most amazing luxury brands in the world. And he co-hosted an amazing event with Hublot Watches in Beverly Hills. 
I purchased this dress from Topshop. It was a warm summer evening, so I had this dress that was short and also strapless, but I complemented it with a white blazer that I had gotten at Nordstrom. I just really love the black and white. The dress has small stones on it that look like polka dots from far away, but it adds a little bit of bling when you're up close. I felt like it was the perfect dress to wear to an event like this because, you know, it's kind of in the theme with uh, watches and cars, and so I feel like the texture of the dress was really appropriate. But I think it was sophisticated when I put the white coat over it, so it just kind of balanced it just nicely so that it was a little bit fun and a little bit racy, but then toned down and still sophisticated and mature. That was such a fun night. My husband is a huge watch enthusiast, so he was like a kid in a candy shop, honestly. The third look is from the holiday season. I was attending an event that was hosted by Angelino Magazine at the Culver City Hotel. Culver City Hotel is a beautiful, historic uh, location in Culver City, California beautiful hotel, you should totally check it out. It's a wonderful place to have drinks or have dinner with friends, which we've done many times before. We were there because Angelino had a party for all of the men who had been named Modern Men for 2019 and all of the women who had been named Dynamic Women for 2019. Incidentally, we both made the list. So the styling for this is so interesting because it's all over the place with pieces that I had just gotten, pieces that I had had for many, many years, but it all just came together. I had this beautiful silver top by Rebecca Minkoff, but I also had this great silver skirt I had gotten a few years ago from Project Runway. I styled it with a leather jacket that I actually got in 1990 from Forever 21 when I was young enough to shop at Forever 21. Uh, that should tell it all right there. And then I had a pair of gunmetal uh, shoes that I had gotten. Actually, I guess gunmetal is the true color, not really silver. I had a pair of gunmetal shoes that I got from Michael Kors. So I just wanted something to kick everything up and add a little bit more whimsy. So I had a cute little clutch from Betsy Johnson in the shape of red lips. What's not to love? I felt beautiful, I felt fun, I felt festive. It's a night where we were celebrating a lot of other distinctive individuals, men and women. I think it's the kind of environment that I thrive in because I'm in the company of such awesome, powerful people who are doing so many great things in different industries and in our community. At the same time, I feel really humbled to have earned the right to be there as well and take advantage of the opportunity to stand out in those moments. dress that I actually wore for my Modern Luxury Angelino Dynamic Woman photo shoot. This is an amazing dress by Diane von Furstenberg, who's one of my favorite designers. The first time I ever walked in a fashion show of any kind, uh, I wore Diane von Furstenberg, so she has a special place in my heart. And of course, she's the inventor of the wrap dress, so hats off to her. She's a fashion icon. So when I had the opportunity to be iconic, of course she's a natural choice for a dress to wear. And I have worn this dress before. I talk about this all the time. I do wear my dresses more than once. I do let a couple of years pass usually between them, depending on what the level of publicity was for the event that I attended. I wore this dress before to the Into the Blue Gala for autism. My social justice organization, Raise Class and Parenting, hosted a panel on parenting children with special needs. And one of the panelists was actually a chairperson organizing the Into the Blue event. So my husband and I were delighted to go and contribute and support fundraising for autism awareness. As soon as I was asked to participate in this photo shoot, this dress came in my mind because it's such a standout piece. And I'm actually really glad that I went ahead and chose the bold color because I felt like it popped off the page. This was such an amazing honor for me and I will always remember this distinction. What's also really special is that on this day, I was able to bring my daughter to the photo shoot with me so that she could see that and experience some of the joy and the pride and the fun of receiving an honor like this. 
My absolute favorite thing about this article that they wrote is they said something like, Mimi Narte is a force for good to be reckoned with. And I swear I love that. I'm like, yes, 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 believe it, remember it. The fit of this dress is pure fire. This is what Diane from Furstenberg does best. So this is one of my favorite looks, not just because the color is just poppin' and beautiful, not just because I love pretty much anything with sequins on it, and not just because the cut is so figure flattering, but because I wore it for something that was so special to me and something that represents all of the effort that I put into different important areas of my life. It was the end of 2019. It kind of marked the turning over of a decade for me. And in the story, they wrote about my experience as an athlete and a World Cup soccer player. They wrote about my experience doing research, giving talks around women's empowerment. They wrote about my philanthropic efforts starting our sports foundation. So there was so much that was captured in this article and in this picture. And I feel like this is one of my favorite looks and it probably will be for all time. My final look was one that I wore to our very first Narte Sports Foundation Gala. My husband and I formed the Sports Foundation to raise money so that underserved youth can get access to sports. We were both athletes. We both played at a really high level. I played in the Women's World Cup. He was recruited to the Raiders that were in Oakland back then. Sports have made a big impact in our lives and we really want to pay that forward. So it was so much work and just a huge accomplishment to organize this really amazing night. And I really love the dress that I chose for this evening, which was a hot pink, bright pink dress that I found at Nordstrom. I don't actually recall the label for this dress. I had to remove the label because it was showing to part of the sheer fabric for this dress but I just know that I got it at Nordstrom, where I get many of my dresses. The color was so amazing and perfect for springtime in the evening. This is a gorgeous halter dress in a beautiful pink color that has this beautiful stitching and flowers that's done in a sheer mesh fabric. This look and this dress mean so much to me, not just because the dress was beautiful, not just because the color was great and because it's beautifully made. It means a lot because of what that evening meant to me. It was a really important night for our foundation, for our family, and for me as an individual. I felt like my soccer experience was coming full circle with me being able to give back in this way. Thanks for watching five of my favorite looks. Look out for more videos under my playlist, hashtag Fashion Files.